Hi and welcome to Mickey Elliott's amazing blog. Uh, I'm just back from a three days skiing in uh, the southern French Alps. I uh, go out there every year with my dad, uh, just go and we sort of talk about the year ahead and the year that we've just had and sort of try and plan our business, how, how we're going to go about it. Uh, changing times at the moment with the economic climate being how it is. And um, yeah, it should be a really good year I think that we, we've got coming up. Um, I've got to say I'm tremendously excited by what we've got coming up in the uh, the coming days and weeks uh, ahead of us. Um, not just because this is the first week that it really feels like everything's back to normal again, but because uh, this year, um, or the, the, in the coming month, I'll be getting my hands on a cracking pair of Charlies. Um, no, not those kind of Charlies. Um, this is a family blog. We, um, you know, the, the, the Charlies I'm talking about, Charlie Hoy, Charlie Rice. Charlie Hoy got to the ABA final last year. He's a flyweight, he's from Chesham. Um, I'm really excited about Charlie, um, Charlie Hoy. He, um, he, he I, I can't see him not having a really good career. Got brilliant attitude, um, loads of technical ability. Uh, he's trained by Mark Tibbs, um, and he's promoted, he's going to be promoted by George and Francis Warren, Frank Warren's sons. Um, I'm managing him. And um, he makes his debut on Friday uh, at the uh, York Hall in Bethnal Green. He sold every single ticket that, that they gave him. Um, he could have sold more. He, um, he's a real nice lad. He's going to be very popular and he can fight. You know, he's eight stone, this lad, tiny. Um, but he can fight like hell. When you see the punches, you, you, you'll understand, you know, um, that even flyweights, you know, if, if they're, they're, they're trained and, they're, you know, they're, he'd be a handful for anybody. He, I mean, and he, he loves fighting. He absolutely loves fighting. I think, you know, in, in, in Charlie Hoy, we're going to have um, a very privileged position to be able to see him from the start of his career manoeuvre his way through the ranks and he will be a champion. Remember his name, Charlie Hoy. And he starts on, on Friday on the, the uh, Box Nation, that's channel 456 on your, your Sky Box, and um, he, he gets cracking at the York Hall on the Queensbury Promotions show on, on Friday. Uh, Charlie Rice, we took to the board today, and uh, he'll have a, a trial bout, I'm sure they'll license him, and then he make his, he'll make his pro debut on uh, my Fortune Favours the Brave event, which um, takes place opposite Kings Cross Station, uh, on February the 24th, uh, at, it's called the Camden Centre, it's like right opposite uh, the British Library, King's Cross Station, and um, we'll, we'll get Charlie Rice on there, along with a host of other uh, talented young boxers that will be making their way through the, uh, the boxing scene this year. Um, my first show of the year that I'm promoting myself is on uh, January the 26th, the, May the annual Mayfair Sporting Club Burns Night, um, which is a black tie boxing event. It's at uh, the Millennium Hotel, and we run what, one one a year of the, these burns. Well, obviously we, we run it on the burns evening. Uh, in this year, we were running it in fact on the 26th of January at the Millennium Hotel, and um, it's it's an amazing night. It's it's like a corporate event. Which the corporate events, most of them are suffering at the moment, as I've probably talk about too too much because it's a bit of a sore point for me um, because you know I ran the boxing at Cafe Royal for six years where, where the <laughs> they were packed out every time um, they, they really sold themselves there um, but the, um, the the Burns night we have like a, a champagne reception uh, we have like bagpipes we have like this um, parading the haggis they have an ode to the haggis we have like a Scottish reciter with a big dago who cuts up the haggis and then um, we drink whiskey and it's a really good, good, fun, fun night. And, uh, and and it sells even in these hard times. I think it's a um, testament to the popularity of the event and what a good event it is, that it, it's selling really well. And uh, it it's a, really is a good, a good, good crack. So that's at the Millennium on the January the 26th. Uh, another boxer that I went to the boxing board today, Scott Woods, he'll probably make his debut on, on that show on the 26th at the Millennium, and um, 
he's got a real good style for, for I think, for, for dinner boxing and small hall boxing. You know, really aggressive boxer, straight in, bang, bang, bang. And um, I think we'll see... Um, We'll see some really sort of good night's entertainment with, with Scott Woods as he moves on as well. Um, more good news this week. Um, I've been speaking to Joe Smythe, the big stuff, and uh, the big stuff is back. Um, that is the, the, the word, and I can tell you that. I heard it straight from the horse's mouth. He rang me up earlier. We're meeting up tomorrow, and um, we're, we're looking at getting Joe um, this year. I suppose we, we, we want to be pushing for a southern area title for him. Um, Joe's had a sort of a bit of a stop-start career. He, I mean, through injuries and different setbacks that he's had, um, and I've known Joe since he was maybe like nine years old, ten years old. So he, he's got bags of ability. I mean, I know him very well as a boxer. I've watched him from from boxing as a kid, and um, I, I really want. I mean, this year, he, he, I really want him to just commit himself. Well, he's going to commit himself. I know he will. He's got two babies now, um, and. He's going to put his heart and soul into his boxing, and we're going to have one brilliant year out of him. And uh, he's a huge puncher. I mean, Joe Smythe is probably one of the biggest pound-for-pound -pound punchers in, in Britain. He's a huge puncher, and uh, very exciting to watch. And uh, actually, I have another boxer, Dan Woodgate, who um the same weight. And they're, they're both actually pretty much in a similar position as each other, um, with Smythe... Um, and Woodgate, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they're both this year, I think, probably going to be looking to, to, to hit the Southern Area title. And uh, I think, I mean, look, for me, I, I really like both lads. If, if the best thing for both of them is for them to fight each other, they'll fight each other. I will not try and stop that from happening. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're, they will box each other. Um, if they do box each other, I mean, you wouldn't hear a peep from me. I would just be sat there, um, wish them both the best, and... Uh, I congratulate whoever wins and commiserate with whoever loses, you know, and, and hopefully we can all have a little mini group hug together and, and all be friends afterwards um, because um, they're both very nice lads and uh, I'd like them both to win, but unfortunately in boxing that, that can't happen. Uh, one of them will win and uh, the other one will, will, will not, but anyway, we'll see. Um, so we've got that to look forward to, the, 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 the big stuff. I mean, Woodgate. His highlight of the year has got to be uh, the knockout win at the Coronet. Um, he, he boxed on my show at the Coronet, which was broadcast on Eurosport um, at the end of last year. And I mean, if you look for it on, on YouTube, he scores probably one of the most stunning knockouts you'll ever see. Uh, just put that into YouTube, Dan Woodgate uh, boxing or Dan Woodgate knockout, and you'll see this knockout. He hits this uh, Paul Davis, um, who's... Quite decent himself, you know, strong enough lad, but but he just gets hit sweet on the chin, and it, it's like good night from the moment the punch connects. So um, he, I mean, I'm sure Woodgate and Smythe, if they box each other, it will be a brilliant fight. It will be a good fight. I'm I'm certain of that. It'll be a really good fight, but um, not one that I would be sort of chomping at the bit to to sort of make, um, just because I prefer it if it's one of my guys. Um, against one that isn't one of my guys because then I can sort of I work very hard to try and advantage put as many advantages as I can in, in my guys favour so if it's two of my guys fighting each other um, I just have to be neutral and I step out and I let them box and um, you know whoever wins wins um, anyway some interesting comments uh, were made on my, my latest blog uh, from uh, Ron Lewis from the Times, the, the the boxing writer for the Times, he uh, <laughs> he put, he put a comment saying that I look like um I reminded him of Ray Winston, um, Ron, Ray Winston, um, I mean I suppose if if you said the word sexy beast sprang to mind when you saw me on your screen, um, well who could blame you for that, Ron, but um. Come on, I mean, he's a receding, tubby, middle-aged man, Ron. Uh, I mean, I actually remember finding Ron in a hotel lobby uh, prior to the Carl Froch albert Rabatsky fight in a Nottingham hotel, and uh, he was sort of looking, I suppose, a bit panicky, worried, 
lonely, dejected in the lobby of this hotel. And I said, Ron, what's the matter? And he said, Mickey, I need to get changed. I haven't got a room. I said, Ron, that's not a problem. I've got a room upstairs. Being the good Samaritan that I am, you can... I let him use the room. What thanks did I get? Well, absolutely none at all. He accused me of looking like Ray Winston, which I clearly don't. Um, Mickey's amazing fact for the day. Um, me and Ray Winston actually box for the same amateur club. Um, we, we never actually met each other because, um, as I mentioned earlier, he's much older than me and he'd finished before I started. But um, we both box for Repton Boys Club in Bethnal Green. Mickey's amazing fact of the day. Um, anyway, moving on swiftly from that. Um, oh, I was delighted after my last blog to receive a message from Mark Wright saying that uh, how much he enjoys watching my uh, my blog, my vlog, um, as as it's known. Um, I was so delighted, in fact. That I pasted it all over my Facebook and Twitter uh, accounts, and uh, well, you, you can imagine my horror when uh, I found out that the uh, the Mark Wright that um, had messaged me um, was in fact not the nationally recognisable uh, famous TV star, but um, was in fact Mark Wright, a sales manager for Comet in Liverpool. Um, so um, sorry, little. Um, misunderstanding there and uh, I apologize for the uh, misleading information distributed uh, by my previous posts and um, so just for the purposes of clarity um, neither the the famous Mark Wright out of the Only Way is Essex or any of the Only Way is Essex cast in fact have been watching my blogs um, so far as I know anyway and uh, just one last mention on, on today's blog, and uh, you may have noticed uh, a guy called Andrew Millwall, on, uh, he's on Facebook and on uh, Twitter constantly, you know, plugging these uh, Worldwide Boxing Predictions League, and uh, although I'm not a member and I've never done one of his uh, competitions as yet, I just thought I'd give him a mention, because this guy's obviously a real hardcore boxing fan, and uh, I've heard really good reports actually about the competitions that he runs and how well sort of structured and organised they are, and uh, how much enjoyment that people seem to get from taking part in them. You know, they're like a, they're a big thing, and if you look on like the uh, the forums quite often, you see people mentioning them. So, um, well done, Andrew Millwall. You get the Mickey Hellier seal of approval, and I think um, it's well worth checking out. I've got to say, and I've got to apologise to Andrew because uh, although, although I. I plugging is, is competitions now. I've never actually done one myself. I give it the, the, the seal of approval purely on other people's uh, say so. But um, the thing is, for me, I, I'm making fights all day, Andrew. I'm sorry. And I, I get to the end of the day and I just have not got the motivation to sit down and start weeding through more sort of boxing form and working out, oh, is this one style is going to beat this? Um, one day I will do it. I promise you that. I, I absolutely will do it. And uh, when I do, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. So, um, Keep them coming, Andrew. Um, okay, so that just about wraps up my blog on uh, today, uh, the 11th of January, 2012. And um, I will hopefully see you again soon. We'll probably do another blog uh, maybe after Charlie Hoy's made his debut on Friday. Possibly before, who knows. Keep your, uh, your ear to the ground and uh, your eyes peeled. And uh, I will see you soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.